I'll walk you around our autonomous vehicle demonstrator. All sensing in this vehicle is done based on uh, cameras, 12 cameras spread around the vehicle. The most important part is the forward-looking sensing. This is the trifocal setup, which is also used in serial production. Trifocal is composed from three cameras of different field of views. A narrow field of view of around 28 degrees, some, a mid field of view of around 50 degrees, and a wide field of view of around 150 degrees. Those are the most important cameras grasping most of the information ahead of us. A fourth camera here is a parking camera at the front, where the parking cameras are used mainly to cover the near field. On each side, we have three cameras. We have uh, one camera looking forward, which covers uh, the area to our side forward. Uh, it is used mainly when negotiating injunctions and merging traffic, where one needs to see traffic to the side. There is one camera at the wing looking backward and a third camera at the mirror would be the parking camera covering the near field giving you good coverage of object very close to you we would have a similar setup on the other side and on the rear we will have two cameras the first camera is around 50 degrees would cover the far field and see vehicle ahead uh, far behind us and the last camera would be the rear parking camera which again covers the near field, the area close to the vehicle behind us. All cameras are fed into four IQ4s where all processing for sensing and creation of sensing state is done. In production we would switch to an IQ5 where a single IQ5 is 10 times stronger than a single IQ4. So a single IQ5 is twice stronger than the processing used for driving that vehicle in the demonstration we are currently doing. Of course, you see more hardware, which is more logging related, because a critical component of any uh, autonomous driving development is logging a lot of information and data, and that is what this hardware is all around.